Hello and welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks. Now today I'm going to be talking about how to fish a Senko. And no, it's actually not weightless and wacky. It's actually weightless Texas rigged. The reason I'm doing this is because I was kind of amazed uh, out at the lake. You see me at the lake all the time and I'm filming my shows. When I would fish this thing and people would ask me and I'm, oh, I'm throwing a weightless well, it's our gotcha stick, but I say Senko because that's what most people know a stick worm is. And they go, what, Texas rigged? I'm like, yeah, Texas rigged. They're like, oh, well, you, don't, you don't put a weight in front of it? I'm like, no, I throw it just like I do wacky weightless, but with a Texas rig. I fish the FLWs a lot, and all my pros over the last five, six years, majority of them <laughs> throw a, a Senko on a Texas rig weightless. What I do a little different is I use mono. They usually use braid, maybe a floral leader. I use 12 pound mono and they usually use a three odd hook. I use a big five odd in it. I mean, but see the thing is with the mono, the mono floats. So it has resistance as it comes through the water. And when this thing's falling with this heavier weight and sometimes I have it back a little further than this, it goes down horizontal and this little tail just wiggles. And then when it hits the bottom with the resistance of the line because it floats through the water, when I work it, it kind of like works it up and then it just drops down. It works it up and then it just drops down. When you get, you know, when you use braid and all that or floral that sink, it'll, the, it's below it, it'll pull it kind of straight, but it won't give it that. So that's something different I do. But all my friends in Pino that, that have been doing this, they even go lighter. They get like six and eight pound lines. And they throw it right into the reeds and right into the brush. And they throw it in there Texas rigged. <laughs> Weightless. If you throw something like that in there wacky, even if it has a little wee guard, it's going to get caught up. It's, it's not. And this thing with the aerodynamic, when you cast it, it goes in there better. You can skip this thing in there better. But I, I, like I said, the reason I'm doing this is because it was just amazing to me that people are like, oh, you don't have weight on it. Just because you go Texas doesn't mean you need to put a freaking bullet weight in front of it. You can fish it the same way, weightless, just like you do it wacky. It has great action. That's the way these things are designed. So give it a try when, it, when, when you're fishing a Senko style bait. Like I said, this is our gotcha stick, a, a five and a half. Try it this way. Don't just always throw it wacky, weightless. Try the Texas weightless. And then you don't have to worry about getting it snagged or, or throwing it into cover or any of that stuff. I'm just, I said, it was amazing to me when people just were sort of at awe that I was throwing it this way. When I've sat behind so many pros on boats that throw it this way. I do it a little different. I told you about it. Hopefully that'll help. Until next time.